Josh, we're obviously a few days on now from the last game before the international break against Leicester City. What are your reflections on that game? Uh, yeah, I think everyone could see it was a tough game. Obviously a lot of injuries and a bit of a makeshift back four. I thought the game plan was sort of... Uh, obviously wanted to frustrate them, which I thought we did. For large parts of the game, we limited them to chances, especially for the first sort of 60, 70 minutes. And then obviously we had to be a bit more aggressive in our approach to try and get back into the game. Um, and then obviously when you do that, it opened up a little bit for them especially. So um, on the main, I thought with what, you know, the challenges we had and the hurdles we had, we, we tackled it really well and actually the spot on from the lads. Normally uh, we fell short again, so just got to recover and, and keep going. You mentioned the challenges there. One of them would have been obviously quite a few injuries, which obviously saw you play at centre-half in that game. How did that come about for you to play in that position? Uh, no, it's just, I think, uh, I'd played there a few times before and I'm comfortable playing there so obviously I knew we were, we were short. The gaffer pulled me the, the day before and I said well I was going to sort of pull in for the same thing and we were both on the same page that, that I'm more than happy to play there for him and for the team so yeah that was it really and just got on with it just straight down to work on the training pitch on a Friday and what we had to do for the game on a Saturday. Before the first international break we wasn't too bad I thought we showed a lot of promise and uh, but obviously we know ultimately it's not been good enough Everyone in there in the building knows it's not been good enough recently. And we're all frustrated with it and we're all working hard to, to you know, get back on the right track and, and start picking up some right results and you know, start looking forward and up the table. So yeah, no, it, it's, it's been hard, it's been challenging. Obviously we're a new group and everyone's learning each other and, and you know, the best thing for the team. So um, yeah, look, we all know it's not been good enough. and. We know the fans are frustrated, we're frustrated, coaches are frustrated, everyone to do with the football club is frustrated, but we've got to just stick together and, and pull through this little period together. Winning is a, a side effect of doing everything right, and I do feel like if you keep doing the right things properly day in, day out, that eventually winning happens. So we just got to make sure we stick to doing the right things day in, day out as a group, as a team, and, and stick together. And, and hopefully, you know, with a bit of determination, it will change. On a personal level, how do you reflect on your own season so far? I think everyone probably agree like, that playing has not been good enough. Um, ultimately, I don't think anyone really cares about individual performance. We all want to win as a team. So, and that's not been good enough and that's not what we've not done. So, yeah, of course, I want to play my part uh, and do better as a team to, to, to win. So, that's something I've got to reflect on and be honest with myself and keep trying to make better and better each game and, and hopefully get right results. I'm very proud to, to, to be captain of this football club. It's not something that, you know, I don't think you try to be or, you know, you go out looking to be captain anyway, you just be yourself. And, you know, Gaffer recognised me to, and gave me the responsibility of that. So, you know, of, of course I accepted it. But, um, yeah, as well, I say, you don't try to be it, you just got to be yourself every day and that's all I do. We've got a new group, we've got some young players, so, as I say, I just try to be myself. I like to think I'm friendly with everyone around the place and try to welcome them in. I don't want anyone to feel left out. So, yeah, of course, uh, my experience, I use it with uh, as much as I can, but I'm not the only one. There's a few of us that are experienced around the building that try to get around the lads and try to pull together. Um, we've got some good lads here, good young lads. Uh, no one's, I'd call it like a bad egg, like you get at some football club, everyone's good here and, and tries to do the right thing. So, it's a real positive group. And like I say, it's only a matter of time before things change. After the game against Bournemouth in the Cup stayed down south before the game against Bristol City to kind of build a team bond. I mean, are you starting to see during that trip and since that trip some of the players starting to come out of their shells? Players came late, we had such a big rebuild this season that you don't really get that sort of time away when you do have it like other clubs do. They sort of had it in pre-season, we have to have it sort of then and I think it was good. To, I think we saw the result on Bristol on Saturday, we probably wasn't at our best performance-wise, but I thought the attitude and the work rate and the togetherness could show from the week that we had down with each other. And to be fair, I think we've shown a lot of togetherness and, and fight since then. Yeah, I think it, it was massive for us as a group. And just like this week could be massive again for us to stick together and get around each other and work on things again. So, you know, we're working progress, but we know ultimately we need to get results and this ain't where we want to be. We're not happy where we want to be. So we're working hard to change that. That's what we need. We probably need, you know, two back-to-back -back results to just, you know, uplift our season, really give us a push that makes us go, you know, gives us a bit of self-belief as well, go like, we are a good team, we can do this. And of course to do it in front of the home fans, 
for them to get behind us, you know, to have that togetherness between fans and, and you know, the team and the coach and staff. That's what we were aiming for and that's what we want. So two massive games. Every game's massive in this league, but those are two really, really big massive games for us that we want to win.